In today's video, we are going to talk about the iceberg phenomenon. We as healthcare professionals tend to see only a small part of the illness in the community, just like how only a small part of the iceberg is visible above the surface of water. Just like how the submerged part of the iceberg is not visible, several infectious diseases could also be inapparent to the professionals. Let us divide the iceberg into three parts as shown in this picture and discuss each to have a better understanding. First is the floating tip which represents what is clinically visible to us as clinicians. The clinicians, as we have discussed already, are only concerned with the tip of the iceberg and conduct diagnostic tests for the same. Next is the submerged portion of the iceberg which represents the hidden portion of disease like pre-symptomatic and undiagnosed cases. This part of the iceberg is what the epidemiologists are concerned with and hence screening tests for the same are conducted. Lastly, there is the waterline, which is a clear demarcation between the hidden and clearly apparent diseases. You might wonder, what are the possible conditions where this phenomena could be used? Some of the conditions could include dental caries, hepatitis B, hypertension, diabetes, anemia and influenza. Now, do you think all conditions would show the iceberg phenomena? Unlike the above conditions, Measles, rabies and tetanus are conditions which do not show this phenomenon. Thus, this was all about the concept of iceberg. Thank you. If you stuck with me till now, I am sure you enjoyed the video. Please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. It makes up for all the time and effort we put into making concepts so simple and easy for you. Hope to see you in the next one.